Hi and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can insert an image from three different locations into your document. I'm going to show you how you can align it, move it and resize it. So first of all we need to go to the insert tab at the top here. Go to pictures and click on this drop down. So if we go down to picture from file so open up the file that your image is in and this is where you'll have a range of JPEGs or PNG files or screenshots, anything you like. And all you need to do is select the image you want and simply click insert. That's the first image selection. Go to insert again, go to pictures and select stock images. Now these images are part of your Microsoft Word software and it gives you the option here to search for a particular theme of your images. So let's just type in cake and press enter and you'll see by running down the slider the variety of different images available. Once again just simply select the image you want or you can select multiple images by just clicking on the corner circles and simply select insert. Let's just reduce the size of my document and you can see this image has overlapped the other image. So don't worry, I'm going to show you how to move these images around in a minute. And then if we just go up to insert again, go to pictures and this time select online pictures. Once again, Word will give you the option of lots of different categories that you can scroll through. We just select the flowers and then it will give you several options. You will need to check this box here, Creative Commons. This means that you can use this photograph without any concerns about copyright. And it goes into some details at the bottom here as well. If you want another theme, just type it in. We'll put cake in again. And again, you can see the variety of options available. And then just simply select one of your choice and click Insert. So now these images have been inserted, you can see they might not be the size you want or the placement you want. So we can see this first image is selected and when any image is inserted into Word, you can't move it. You can try, but it will just go back to its original location. So make sure it's selected, go to wrap text, click on the drop down, and you can select from any number of these wrappings. Now I'm just going to select in front of text for now. And you can now see that we've put the picture over the top of our text. And you can also now resize this image. If you want to keep the original ratio, just press the shift key down and it means it won't distort in the way I'm doing now. Just hit that shift key and it won't distort. Now you can see this image doesn't have a background on it, but many images will. So let's just go ahead and select a slightly different image. We'll just go to wrap text and select in front of text again, and then just reduce the size. Now I always select above text, it just gives me the option to move my image anywhere I want for the time being. Now if you want your image to be amongst text, you're going to have to choose a slightly different wrapping. And that depends on the way you want your image to sit in your document. So go up to wrap text and then you can select a number of different options here. Obviously not behind text unless you want this as a background, but realistically you want to choose one of these four. Now, lots of people do generally choose tight because it allows the text to run all the way around your image. And you can see how that's happening here. If you also want the text to be at the top and bottom, that's another common option. Then now your text will just be at the top and the bottom of your image. Now, the one thing you will notice is often the text can get very close to your image and that can be a little frustrating. So the way to sort that out, and I'm going to do this with the tight wrapping. You can see it's very, very close to your image. What you'll need to do is, is you'll need to go back up to wrap text and you'll need to go down to more layout options. Down at the bottom here, you'll see distance from text. So we've got a little distance here, left and right, but I'm just going to change everything to one centimeter just to demonstrate how this works. And then just click OK. And now you can see we've got a healthy one centimeter margin between the text and my image. Now, if you've got an image and you want to crop it, 
simply select it, go to picture format, go over to this crop tool here and then click on the drop down. You can simply select crop that will allow you to crop it to any shape or you can crop it to a particular shape or an aspect ratio. So let's say you wanted a square picture, just select one by one and then you can move these corner pieces to reduce the size of it but make sure you hit the shift key because you will maintain that square ratio otherwise it will turn into a rectangle. You can then move the image left and right to make sure it's perfectly placed and then just press enter and your image will be perfectly cropped. If you want to make some adjustments to the image again select it make sure you're on picture format and you can go over to these options here so you can go to corrections where you can make your picture a little bit brighter or darker. You can go to color and slightly change the color and hue of your image or you can turn it black and white. You've also got some artistic effects here and you've got a transparency slider. So if you want to use this image as a background, you can simply turn down the transparency to allow your text to show over the top. Finally, if you want to add some text at the bottom of your image to explain what the image is about, just right click on the image, go down to insert caption. After figure one, you can just name it whatever you like and then simply press OK. You can see now that I've got that caption below it. What I do like to do though is to select the caption, hold down your command or control key select the image then go up to picture format go to group and select group that now means that that will all be grouped together and when you move the picture that figure one caption will move with your image now you can see we've got some slight issues at the side here which means that those margins have changed so once again go back up to wrapping more layout options and then we'll just make those adjustments one more time and click OK. If you want your image perfectly aligned to the left, middle or right of your page, select the image, go to align. You can select align to center, align to right or align to left. You can also choose top, middle and bottom as well if you want. There are all of those options there available. Finally, if you need to rotate or flip your image, you can go to the rotate tool here, flip the image horizontally, vertically, and you can also rotate. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.